This is Pima. It tells you which fingers to use on your picking hand. I've included these on the still pictures of my tablature. For all of the parts in this song, I would recommend learning the picking pattern first on the open strings before worrying about the fretted notes. We'll start by breaking down the first picking pattern. It can easily be remembered with the word EGAD. Low E, G, A, D. This pattern repeats for the entire first part of the song, with the exception of this part, which is a simple alternate picking pattern between the A and the G strings. And then the EGAD pattern repeats itself. You can pause the video here, look at the tablature, and practice this pattern. You want to fluidly connect both parts so they meld together perfectly. As you're practicing, it'll sound something like this. Keep practicing until you build up to performance speed. And here's a little extra clarification on this part because it's a little tricky. So we start out fretting the A and the G at the 7th fret. With our EGAD pattern. And then it goes... So the tricky part is just that you hit the A at the 7th fret and then the G and then the A at the fifth. And one other quick tip is on the very last note before the slide part, I like to put my thumb behind my index finger and use my index fingernail as a pick and you kind of hit the first three strings or so. Really gives it some extra emphasis. The next picking pattern is for part one of the slide section. This part sounds like this. Same as earlier, we're going to focus on the picking pattern by using the open strings and worrying about the left hand later. So it starts off with a pinch between the A and the B string. Thumb on the A, middle finger on the B. 
slowly the entire pattern sounds like this. Notice that the last note in the pattern is the open G string and the first note is the pinch between the B and the A. To help keep the pattern fluid, be very conscious of that transition. I'll demonstrate it by playing this transition louder. If you pay attention, you can hear Leo's emphasis on these notes as the pattern restarts. It's kind of like this. It's a minor detail, but it will really help you keep your focus on driving the rhythm of the song hard. After all, it's called Vaseline Machine Gun, not Vaseline Slingshot or Vaseline Air Pistol. One final note here is that you can play this picking pattern either droning on the A string or alternating with the A and the low E string. My preference, and from what I hear on the studio version, is droning on the A for the first part and then alternating the bass on the second part. And on the open strings, that would sound like this. On the 10th fret to the 12th, we want to play the B and the E string with the slide and mute behind the slide with our index finger, only muting the B and the E string. And we're going to use the open G, so we're not going to get the G string with the slide. So that slowly sounds like this. Without the rhythm strings, it sounds kind of like this. Then the pattern continues just like it did as we practiced, starting out with that pinch on the A and the B string together. next slide section is this. On the open strings, the whole pattern sounds like this.
your picking hand is not programmed to play these patterns, it'll get confused by what the left hand is doing. That being said, there are some nuances to pay attention to. First thing to notice is that the D string note with the thumb is part of the melody. It sounds like he's using the top two strings. but he's using that octave D as part of the melody. Keeping this in mind will help you visualize the melody as you're playing. The next tricky part is the slide from the fifth fret to open. I'll play it a few times here on camera so you can see it, and then show you the tablature of what I'm playing. part we're going to focus on is highlighted in red. The notes in parentheses are all incidental from the movement of the slide, not picking with your fingers. It sounds like this. So there's a few things going on here. We're initiating the slide down with that first note, the thumb hitting the D string with the slide at the fifth fret. Then we're coordinating the release of the slide to the open position, meaning off the guitar, with the open G string. And then we're adding in the open A string from the next measure, which you'll notice is a quarter note. That gives you a little breathing room. As you pull the slide to the side, you can kind of emphasize those open notes a little bit. Another thing is the brush stroke with the thumb. What I mean by that is this section. You don't have to hit all three strings, like I tabbed it out. You just do a stroke with the thumb starting on the G string. You have to use the thumb for that first note, or you'll never get the speed and relaxation needed to play this correctly. You can also hear in the studio version, he doesn't seem to hit the low E. It sounds more like this. But in all of the live versions I've heard him do, he pretty much always hits that low E, so that's the way I tabbed it out and the way that I play it. The end of the phrase is a slide down on the G, which you pick with your index finger. Where exactly he's sliding to is a little tricky. In live performances, it looks like the ninth fret. I tabbed it out as the 7th fret because it sounds more accurate in the tab, but either should work. Lift up the slide at the end to mute the strings cleanly. The other thing to keep in mind is you can use an aggressive sweep with your thumb or index fingernail like this.
it simply replaces the first note of the pattern. Instead of this, do the sweep. The rest goes on as normal. Final picking pattern in Vaseline Machine Gun sounds like this. We'll go over this section first. The open string pattern here sounds like this. Now we'll cover the second pattern that goes with this part. On the open strings, it sounds like this. You can change one note here to switch it up, and it'll remind you of the alternate picking pattern from earlier. That would make that part sound like this. This one section deserves a little extra attention, because it's a little weird. There's a quarter note, with the middle finger, and then the next note is the index finger. So just practice it until it feels normal, because it's very important for the rhythm of the song.
Thank you.